Hi, my name is Madeline and I'm here with Taylor Shellfish to show you how to set up your oyster grow bags to grow oysters in. I have a starter gear kit with all the rebar, zip ties, rope, and grow bags that you're going to need. The first step is going to be to prepare your grow bags. So when you get the grow bag, it'll look like this. And you'll want to trim off each of the four corners so that it looks like this. You can use sturdy scissors or a sharp knife to do that. Then I'm going to want to fold these two flaps into a pouch like this, being very careful that there are no holes in the corner where seed can fall out. So that's going to look like this. You'll be closing that pouch with two zip ties. You can see I've already done one, no hole. I'll show you a trick to get it in more easily. If you fold two uh, bends into the zip tie, then it'll come right through. And you can close your pouch. The next step will be putting your seed into the grow bags. Start by putting one bag of seed amongst three grow bags. And as the oysters grow and get more crowded, then you can start to evenly distribute them into all five grow bags. So next we'll set up the line. Now it's time to install your line. Oysters grow best on a firm beach between four feet above and one foot below mean tidal height. The first step to installing the line is to tie a loop at each end of your rope. Then you'll insert the rebar into the ground through your loops. exposed to very high wind, we suggest purchasing a third piece of rebar to go in the center. Then you're ready to attach your closed oyster bags full of oysters to the line. You'll do that using zip ties. Just place one zip tie on each corner of the bag around the, around the line. And now you're ready to grow oysters.